Hey boys, welcome back to some more Melbourne Storm Career Season 2. It's going to be round one of the regular season. It's good to be back and taking on the Warriors. The Warriors away from home. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a tough, tough road trip first up. As uh, we look at the team, I actually, I actually have Scott Drinkwater starting at fullback. Um, the rest of the forward pack there. We got Bryn Nakora. For some reason, I had Joe... <laughs> Joe Sims was uh, Felix Cafusi might have been out injured. I I can't actually remember. Um, he may have been, or I just forgot to put him in the team because obviously Cafusi would usually be the the other back row option as the Warriors with you know a few a few good signings. Honestly, they're <laughs> they're building their team up again pretty well. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be good to be back, or it's going. Yeah, it's good to be back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we um, if obviously we came back from the nines, and you know before that I'd been playing mainly just rugby league live three. Really, I'd been I hadn't touched this game in a while, and straight away that's pretty poor stuff that by us, and he's actually got to the line. <laughs> Who is it? RTS? No, it can't be. I think it's like, I think it's Jared Beal. He's just going to look like a little bit of a double movement, but momentum, I guess, just takes him over. So a good uh, good start for the Warriors, an absolute shocking start for us. Yeah, but um, I've been playing like so much Rugby League Live 3. Coming back to this game, it was uh, it's a challenge. So, you know, the Nines was a good little... It was a good little tester for us. He got us in a little bit of frame of it. But Corey Thompson, he burst through a couple of tacklers. We're, we're on the back foot early in this game. It's been a it's been an abysmal start. But uh, the one thing with them um, was a beautiful pass there. RTS, Scotty Drinkwater comes up with a try saver of all all money there. That was a that was a huge play. It was a great ball and a great run from RTS. But then... Uh, Great stuff from Drinkwater as we get the knock on. So we do defend, which is nice. Um, we'll, you know, we needed that pretty badly. But Scott Drinkwater, obviously Hughes. We had him all last year. Um, but honestly, my main reason is that Drinkwater, his overall this season is like 91-92 compared to Hughes, which was in the 80s. So... I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna pick the best option. And it's not even I mean Drinkwater, if he wasn't injured in real life this year, there's a there's a pretty good chance he would have been the starting fullback. I actually I've talked about it a few times that I don't I really don't know who Bellamy would have gone for. He's right here. What has happened there? It's come off the head, I think. I don't think it was was it one of our players? It's gonna be Dale Fanukin crossing the stripe a lot of fortune right there i don't even what has happened it gets knocked down maybe not off the scone but yeah pretty lucky where um yeah really lucky to be back in this game after that start and then Corey thompson going straight through and then also rts like we were, we were in shambles to start but six all 25 minutes basically can reset with Brody croft putting in a beautiful kick downfield Roger has to pick it up, and he's going to go into touch. Unfortunately, it's not counted as a 40-20, but uh, obviously as good as a 40-20. Probably better, because you do get the scrum feed almost right on the try line as Drinkwater throws a forward pass. I wanted to go at the back. I thought I thought Chambers was going to run through a bit faster for the decoy, but he sort of slowed up, and then the forward pass came. That was, uh, that was pretty frustrating as Chance Nicole Klockstad... Beautiful run down the sideline. Obviously, he signed to the Raiders. He was always good. Like, I'm, I'm happy that Klockstad got a chance to to be like a starting fullback for a club because you know, the few times he played for the Warriors last year, he looked he looked really good. Um, he scored like I think he scored like a couple of doubles every time, like the two or three times he played. Like he got a lot of tries, but just yeah, just his ability to break tackles and the footwork. He just looked like a like a good player, uh, and the Raiders picked him up. A really good signing, honestly, and uh, he's been he's been excellent. Him, him, and then the the move to put Jack Wine into five eight. <laughs> what a what a stellar option that was. Wine has been excellent at five eight. Like I I I knew he'd be pretty like 
I, I thought he'd be pretty solid there. Like, he's a really strong defender. He's obviously a very strong ball runner. But I thought the actual, like, 5'8 aspect, like kicking and setting up players, I thought he would struggle with that. And I thought the Raiders' attack wouldn't be very good. Is right here. What have they done? Look at Sow. Wow. That's a bit of a brain explosion on uh, on the first play coming back from the break as uh, Drinkwater tries to get the pass away, but good defense. Um, but yeah, I thought they would suffer in that aspect, but honestly, Wyden's kicking game, his, ki his kicking game is probably like one of the best in the comp. Like, he's, he's, got a, he's got a great left boot on him, and it's not just power. Is, that's a bit of power right there from Addo Cards to, to get through the defense and score, score our second try, but... You know, he's got a big kick, but he's also got the touch. Like, he, he's, he's got a lot of forced dropouts and just, yeah, just little kicks into the in goal. And also, the, his kick chase is, like, on point. And then he hasn't... I think he's only got, like, one or two tries this all year. So, maybe that's... You know, I think that was always the the thing with uh, Wine. And it's probably something you want anyway, is for him to be more of a ball runner. Because he's got a lot of tries. Um it just sort of shows that he's been a, more of a ball runner than a, you know, setting up other plays, which I, I think it was always going to happen. And I think that's probably the best thing that he can do rather than try to, you know, do all the other stuff is who is Cameron Munster just absolutely turns him inside out there. Just, just absolutely bamboozles about three or four Warriors defenders and scores our third try. So what a, what a bit of play. It's uh, it's looking good for us, Cameron Smith. Another difficult kick. We've uh, we've had some challenging kicks, but this one is going to swing back beautifully. What a conversion! And it's going to be 16 to six. So a very good strong hit out early on here is Brady Croft again. Our, our kicking game has been exceptional. That's going to be another 40-20. I didn't even mention it, but the kick before it was a little bit of the AI being a bit stupid. They did <laughs> RTS just had run out of play, but again it was a beautiful kick. And then right there, the uh, the forty twenty, uh, outstanding. So, yeah, it's been a, it's been a quality a quality hit out for us away from home, taking on the Warriors. It's Cameron Smith goes across field, almost could have gone himself. There was a massive hole there, but uh, unselfishly tried to link up with Brandon Smith as a uh, big shot comes in there. Britton Nakora gets held up. So the you know, the Warriors, they're, they're still putting in effort. They're, uh, they're still trying hard as that one's a knock-on. Unfortunately, the little play was set up there for the kick from Munster for the man on the outside, but uh, just couldn't get the ball to him. Unfortunately, as uh, Joe Simpson, he's not meant to be in the team, but, you know, I'm happy, you know, he's been pretty solid for us. Uh, pretty good, you know, he's a good backup player for sure. Um, Joe Simpson. As a full tackle here, still, you know, still a bit of time. If, we, if we're not careful, I mean, the Warriors can definitely put some points on it and come back into this game. But there's still, you know, the opposite. We're still in with a good chance to really put this game beyond out and, uh, you know, rack up a few points, which would be good to start the season. You know, to sort of, sort of put the pressure off us uh, going forward. Unfortunately, a quick play the ball and Isaac Lou, a couple of defenders offside and he just darts out. Haven't haven't had to worry about that too much, but um, always a always a risk with uh, Isaac Luke in the opposition. But uh, yeah, we are using you would have seen before Pappenhausen. I uh, I did have him selected, so he is, I still I'm still using him as that sort of X factor off the bench, and I think you know I think that's a pretty good I think it's a pretty good position for him going forward in the game here as the kick goes up. Drinkwater is underneath. He's not going to get it, and Jared Beal is going to pluck it and score the second try. Annoyingly, you know, I, I think I think we deserved to defend that one. We've been pretty good all all game, and now the the scores are getting uh, getting pretty tight. We do have to be a, a little careful because we did miss a conversion as uh, Harris Tavita makes that one, and uh, the Warriors do get a chance late. RTS is going. <laughs> Oh man, this would be an absolute disaster. There's probably like one play left, maybe two. Isaac Luke going this blind side that uh, out to the winger of Nicole Clockstab, but he's going to get wrapped up. Thankfully, oh, we played so well that game. It would have been an absolute disaster if we lost. But uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys are enjoying it the second season here. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.